previously on my stuff runneth over. This is a much better trip. <sighs> Didn't go on a hill. I'm tired of 65. I'm tired of 65. I'm tired of 65. Ah. Oh. About to roll out get this spring break started we are headed to swanee river rendezvous it is located in mayo florida um so it's a, probably about a what about a five hour drive for us i don't know but, more than okay so five or more hours um so we're leaving out around noon trying to hopefully get there before sundown so catch up with you later Today was close to the worst we'd ever seen, 65 southbound. And what you're about to see is how the day happened as we lived it with very little editing. We had only gotten about less than 40 miles from home. Uh, it is right before 238 heading south. And, um, Hold on a second. Let me give it. Let me give the phone to my husband, Jonathan. Yeah, how you doing? We're um uh, right before. I told him where we are. Okay. He, he was asking about the truck and can we move? Um, I don't know. Lord have mercy. I don't know what's gonna happen when we pull away from him. I, I don't know if the back of the RV gonna still be on there. <laughs> oh my heavens. Um, well, I got the, I got the cards, uh, um, um, and I can call travelers, but I mean, I don't know what to tell them just yet. Tell them somebody, call them, tell them somebody back, hit the RV, you know, they, they ran into us on the road and, and now we just got to wait on the state trooper. Apparently that car is involved too. It was like stop and go traffic on 65 south and 
um, we were slowly moving um, and I happened to notice in the rear view that there was a, a truck with a bike on it that almost looked like it was about to sideswipe us but it did not get impacted or included in the, the accident but I think it cut the truck off that ended up hitting us that made them swerve into us so they were in the uh, second right lane uh, and we are in the second left lane. So like we're in the two center lanes um, and, and they swerved into the second left lane that we're in and uh, rear-ended our uh, right passenger side of the trailer. So we have stopped and go traffic. Do you believe that this other motorist may have cut off vehicle two, which caused vehicle two to hit your trailer and then vehicle three hit vehicle two? Yes, that, that is how I okay. think it happened. Your vehicle, is it drivable or does it need to be towed? Yeah, our truck is fine. It's the trailer okay. um, that's the concern. My husband said the truck that hit us looks like it's wedged under the RV pretty good. So we have not moved because we're not sure what's going to happen when they attempt to get the truck from yeah, under the trailer. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And this is in what city and state? We're in. Uh, Alabama, about a mile from Alabaster. Like the mile marker we're at right now is, um, we're approaching exit 238 mile marker to Alabaster. So I'd, I'd say we're in Alabaster. Okay, thank you. So you have your trailer, the 2017 3350? Yes, is that's, that the, uh, okay. that's correct. And are you the Yes, please. Okay. And you said your husband was driving. Is that Mr. Jonathan McNair? It is, yes. Okay, one second. Meanwhile. Well, not a great start. Not a great start at all. But everybody's safe and okay. But we living on 65 right now. So <laughs> work it out. I felt like I felt like he was next to me. So a guy in the truck hauling ATVs clipped my buddy here on his front passenger side and knocked him right into our RV. So everybody's okay. And state troopers just arrived, so. YouTubers. <laughs> we're YouTubers. Uh -oh. Not good ones. On Not good ones, but we're YouTubers. <laughs> we'll make you look good, I promise. Man, what you talking about? We're gonna have to charge extra for that place. <laughs> oh. Michigan family told us their truck was a new to them 2020 F-150, so they were a little upset about that. Their steering was damaged, so the truck had to be loaded on a flatbed tow truck, but once again, nobody was hurt. Well, 
here we go. That's the damage right there. Uh, my son was able to get the tag number off of the trailer that clipped the guy that hit us. Uh, so I gave that to the state trooper. Uh, so the hunt is on. Uh, oh, buddy, they gonna track you down. Uh, but he didn't came. Did us, did us real dirty. So the outdoor kitchen, I was worried about the door not being able to open. I mean, not being able to stay closed, but the way it is, I don't know if it'll ever, I don't know if it'll ever open, but it looked like it's, it's going to be secure enough for us to get down the road. Because um, we, we can't, like, the gas valve was, you know, I had to shut off the propane because it sheared off the propane. So as soon as I got out, I smelled, I smelled gas and I had to run and, and turn them off immediately because we weren't trying to blow up out here on the, uh, uh, on the road, that's for sure. So, all right. <sighs> well, this may be ending our trip because we gotta we gotta figure out if there's any issues with the gas line based on where they hit us. It's near our outdoor kitchen, and um, I know Jonathan said he smelled propane, so of course he turned it off, and because we do unfortunately keep it on when we're <laughs> driving to keep our refrigerator going but um yeah so this may be ending our spring break unfortunately i think i did the insurance on disney thankfully so um i may be able to get a full refund on that but um i'm not sure about camp margaritaville i don't think i did that on that one yeah, I am <laughs> thankful that nobody is hurt, of course. Could have been much worse, but I'm a little disappointed because y'all know I don't see my folks much, so this was an opportunity for us to do that. An and accident was reported on I-65 with a six-minute delay. That, Would you like to view an alternate route that can save that may be us. minutes? <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, yeah. So we're sitting, waiting on them to figure out what all needs to be reviewed and taking pictures of. Jo Jonathan gave the cops the picture of the truck we think caused the accident. Daniel managed to get it on camera and um, it's a very fuzzy picture, but hopefully they can clean it up to get the license plate. You wanna get on the video? <laughs> you wondering what's going on? Ain't no squirrels up in those bushes. I, I promise you it's not. Tell us how you feeling, Jay. Man, I'm feeling good that everybody's okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so it was a, that could have been a million times worse, you yeah. know, from the accident happening on the freeway to it sheared off the propane connection to the outdoor kitchen. Uh. Uh, and I don't turn my gas off when we drive. Uh, I know a lot of people do because uh, I always figure if something happened, I get out and turn the propane off. <laughs> so, uh, but saying that and doing it in practice a little different you know I, I got out and i don't think i ever turned a knob that fast in my life because i could <laughs> as soon as i opened the door i smelled propane uh because uh, it's it's pressurized line so it sheared it off without a spark because it it it, it could have been bad uh. so and, and that would have just been the end of them you know i, I would have shed the propane on uh, propane off and had time to unhook the truck uh but the trailer would have been gone uh. you know because i wouldn't have had time to uh uh, but I'd have just pulled that pin and just kicked the trail off, uh, you uh, know, uh, and, uh. And, uh, but, you know, I mean, the trail ain't, you know, we can't, so, we can't drive around like this because, uh, you know, you see this. And you, and you say they ran the tag uh -huh. and found, found who out, found out who it was. Yeah, they, it, the, the person they, they say it is matches the description of what we gave them. So that was them. Okay. Yeah. So okay. that was, that, that, that was them. Uh. So they, they yeah, John, Daniel thought quick to get some video of the truck that hit and run, basically. And um, thank you, Daniel, for your service. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, the, nobody's hurt, and that's yeah. that's really at the end of the day, that's what matters the most. And all right. we all we are all going home tonight, yeah. wherever that may be. <laughs> right, we're going right. to sleep in our right. own bed. I right. That's right. Y'all right. right. take care. <laughs> Well, y'all, this is not how we expected this day to end. We thought it was going to be a late arrival at Swanee River Rendezvous, but we are back in the yard. And while it don't look that bad, it's much worse than it looks because we have the unfortunate uh, outdoor kitchen and it has gas running to it. And um, Jonathan says that the, I think the tip of it that kind of seals it off closed has been taken off and um of course the awning you can see it looks beat up <laughs> so yeah we may try and salvage the second half of the trip i don't know my mom gave a good suggestion about possibly driving down and doing camp margaritaville and seeing if they will transfer our rv site to one of their uh cottages that are there and you know maybe drive down there for for that and just you know leave the rv here and try and salvage some of this time but i don't know um we just we're home so yeah got the jack is basically on the ground right now um so he's gotta get that up so we can finish back in this long ass trailer into the <laughs> into the driveway get it back next to the manifest but, uh, yeah. Bae? Could this turn into a boat trip? Oh. <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> we, we got, I'm still trying to get our money back from, <laughs> from Walt Disney World. But, uh. You ain't ready to get back on the road? No, no. Uh, that, yeah. I, th I think that's, that's, that's like the biggest piece. I don't even I'm know. with you. Because if we had been in Manifest and this happened, I, I wouldn't. I don't think I would have. <laughs> the lady was talking about how pleasant I was when I got out of the truck. I don't know if that would have been the case. <laughs> Man, been an altercation yeah, on the side I, of the somebody, road. <laughs> somebody oh, heavens. Go. Oh. <laughs> so, we're home. Thank God for that. And everybody's well. And the Michigan <sighs> folks are headed to wherever they're headed to safely. So... Uh, yeah. And y'all, we have been RVing since 2012 and we have never had an accident with like another person. We've had tire blowouts that, you know, got pretty bad. Um, the whole axle, you know, one of, on one of our first trailers just completely came off. But <laughs> this is the first time we've been in an accident with another vehicle and um yeah like you can't cover that up with just some because if it rains it's pretty much soaking our outdoor kitchen and underneath the boys bunk um area it's 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 gonna have to yeah we're gonna have to cover it up until insurance can come and take a look at it and see if they can get us get us fixed up or something or something We home. Looks like a boat off his truck. Is it? What else? This was too. Yeah, this piece is truck. Cause that wasn't nothing else right here. It fused into it. He was. He was. We were attached. <laughs> you know, like we were attached. 
I, I don't Damn. like, can't believe a truck hit the corner of this trailer. Just, I don't know if you can't believe how, I guess it's just so big and heavy, you know. Yep. I'm gonna probably just cut it here and say if you, <laughs> I hope you haven't enjoyed this video, but if you have enjoyed this video and I haven't enjoyed making it, but I still want you to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I thank you so much for watching. You know, we like just paid this thing off. <laughs> The ones that we saw people using for their suitcases on 65. Two twin size mattresses and a gas <laughs> Some, They believe in the bungees. Like wedged in there.